Hello, Mr. Jose Carlos. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. It's a pleasure to see you again. Well, to have you here. Thank you for being on time. Very nice that you are always connecting on time. That's Thank pretty you. good. It's a very good habit indeed to connect on time. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, it was successful. Really? It was, yes. It was a marvelous day. Why? I don't have, a, I don't have a nothing new, but I love what I do. So for me, every day I enjoy it. Hey, that's pretty nice, right? That's a pretty good thing. When you actually enjoyed uh, what you do, you actually enjoy it every day. I mean, it is not, it, there's nothing like difficult or strange during your every day, but you enjoy it because for sure you like what you do. Yes. I really love what I do. Sometimes it's tiring, but it's nice. I mean, I, I really like it. And because as it is different, I, I actually enjoy it as well. Because during yes. during my day, I do a lot of administrative things, right? But at night, when I do have the chance to go back to teaching, it is pretty awesome because so, I, that's um, what I like. Yeah. Do you have any other job? Yeah, <laughs> I, indeed, I do. I so, have, I, well, how, I am. I how am, many hours do you work a day? Hey, a lot. <laughs> well, you I know work. To, you know to become rich. <laughs> no, no, you know. But but you know to pay my debts. <laughs> you know enough to pay the debts, definitely. En enough to pay the debts. And um, they always say that if you want to become rich, uh, teaching is not an option. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because I mean. Uh, it is not really like a high paid salaries, but it pays differently. For example, I, I have a lot of friends. I meet a lot of people. I enjoy what I do. I share what I know. I share my knowledge with others. I have opportunities that many other people do not normally have. So it's pretty awesome. I really like what I do. Mostly when I can teach other teachers about the things that I do, you know, my experience and all this. I, I really enjoyed that part. Okay, nice. Thank you, teacher, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I am a principal in an academy. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. And wow. well, in that case, that's why I do all these administrative things during the day because I have to be controlling the teachers, the classrooms and the students and all that, right? But at night Hi. when I am a teacher, I am like, and I enjoy it, right? <laughs> I go back Song. to what to what I love. Song, great. I asked to, to a person one day, I don't remember why we started talking about our salary. So uh -huh. she said, I, I don't earn too much, but it's enough to pay my job. And it's not enough for to be a sugar mommy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, mm, maybe not. Yeah, that, that's what I say. It's like, no, maybe I, I, I need one, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just think one day it's only totally laughing. <laughs> that, yeah, when in some cases I say that to my husband, it's like, maybe we need a sugar mama. <laughs> But for him, I mean, <laughs> and he's like, no. I said, like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Christian. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Nelson, Danny, Juan de Dios, Miss Diana. Welcome. We are talking here about uh, if we are, if you are capable or not to become a sugar mom. Sugar. sugar dad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, you are too young for that. No, no, no. Well, my dear class, it's a pleasure to have you here uh, to start another class, another day with you. And for sure, we are uh, on our class number 14 in this journey. You see time do, I mean, it flies a lot. And it has been a very nice journey full of a lot of uh, learning, full of a lot of uh, things to remember, 
right? And a lot of things to learn. Today, we are going to check a little bit on the homework that was assigned about the business plan. We are going to also work in linking words. And I am going to give you a, a lot of varieties of words that you can use at the moment of speaking and connecting ideas, right? Poor Mr. Danny is having difficulties again with the computer, right? And let me see. Hopefully it's going to work better than yesterday. So uh, as I always do, I am going to let your friends know that we are connected for them to connect and for them not to, <laughs> okay. Yvette sent the homework in the, in the group, even with the logo and all that. That's pretty awesome. Okay. We will be waiting for you, Jose. So, uh, Mr. Jose was sharing that his day was very good, that it was a very successful day. And how was, uh, how about the rest of you? How was your day today? Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, Mr. Manuel. In darkness. Teacher. Uh, I cannot see you. I see a black, yes. a black square. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see Manuel? No. Yes, you can. I no. can. I can see you. <laughs> yeah, but we cannot oh. see you. He oh, didn't yeah. pay the bills. Hey, come on. <laughs> now. Uh, oh, okay, teacher. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do it again. Are you ready? No. On my camera. No, but it is still. Still. It's still in black. I... <laughs> Technology is playing against you since yesterday. Well, but hopefully it is going. If not, Manuel, you can connect again. You can go back and connect again because yes, yes, sir. yeah, because we cannot actually see you uh, at all, right? It's just a black Pero tengo spot. Tengo encendida la cámara. Yes, but I think it's the problem with the with the video. Okay. Well. My dear class, let's start. So as today, we are working a little bit on the linking words, as I was mentioning. We are also going to develop conversation, a little bit of practice, and later on, we're going to develop the business plan. So <clears throat> today is our class number 14. It's also, we're going to keep on talking about the warehouse, right? And let me share my screen with everybody. Here we go. Okay, welcome to your class again. Remember, in um, all our agreements for the class, remember to be on time. I am always pushing you to be on time and for you to cover your 120 minutes of connection every single day, right? In some cases, the topics are very good and we want to continue and continue and continue, but uh, it is important that you connect on time. Please practice as much as possible. Keep the camera on all the time. If you are not using the microphone, keep it off. And for sure, participate, attend your sessions, keep a cooperative attitude during class, and for sure, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. And the most important, to work on the platform every single day, right? So try to do the first exercises of uh, section three. That are the ones that are going to count uh, for this week. And if you can advance and complete it, that will be perfect. Today, we are going to check on a part of it that has been kind of difficult for everybody, but it was a matter of punctuation, right? No sé si ya hicieron el ejercicio de puntuación de la plataforma. Todavía no? El Not yet. <laughs> Bless you, Diana. <laughs> el ejercicio dos de la, de la sección 3. Entonces, como todavía tenemos esa semana y un pedacito de la otra para terminarlo, ahí lo vamos a llevar un poquito con tiempo. And we are going to finish on August 12th, remember, right? We're going to finish on August 12th. So today it's our class number 14. We're going to continue talking about the warehouse and we're going to talk about a lot of vocabulary related to it. Highlights about your day. We were sharing a little bit about it. 
And uh, I am going to ask today, let me see. Tati, how was your day today? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, I think it was okay. I started at 5 a.m. and uh, we are uh, celebrating the 16 years of my company, Terlos mm -hmm. International. So today was the a party, but I couldn't stay there. <laughs> and it was very cool every day because they they have many activities uh, during the day. So it was very cool during the day. So, okay, so it was okay. You ate a lot of cake, I imagine. Uh, no, actually all the week uh, they give, they, they have, gave they gave uh, some give giveaways and actually today they have the a hunt is the name because they are they have the raffle for wishing and their con concert concert in guatemala uh, is in the vip uh, area ticket. yes and they have all the how do you say gasto pagado? <laughs> oh my God, with full expenses covered. Yes, so today uh, we have to look for the purple ticket and you are going to participate in the raffle. So it was very funny all the day. <laughs> hey, how cool, how cool. Yes. Imagine, imagine the person in charge of the logistics of that celebration. Yeah. Poor person, imagine to think about all these details and the things and the party and the celebration and the and the tickets and cutting the tickets and oh my God, poor her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it was a very good thing. Congratulations for your 16th year's anniversary. Mr. Manuel, don't worry, we cannot see your camera, but tell okay, us about your day. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what happened with my camera. I, I left and I... You came back and nothing. I, yes, I, I, I came back and I'm um, no. No, I we connect we with my me uh, my cell phone and Take nothing. Well, to, today, today I I had a a little work. Uh, also, I I went to buy a refrigerator with my sister. Nice, but I I have I had a surprise, or no, not so surprised because all articles are are more are more cheaper actually. Cheaper? Yes. Really? No. no. Ah, expensive. Expensive. Yes. Uh, and sorry. I was like, let's go to buy the refrigerator. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, in this place, in special in this uh, place. Uh, all articles are more cheaper. Cheaper, than the more cheaper. No, you say mm -hmm. cheaper than others. Cheaper, yeah, cheaper than than other uh, stores. Okay. Because I I uh, the the refrigerator in other in other place uh, the cost is uh, um, the size of the refrigerator. 300, 300. Nah, they are expensive. So it was it was cheaper yeah. there. Cheaper there in this 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 uh, place. We we buy we bought. We bought. Uh, uh huh. Fifty fifty dollars less. Hey, that's very awesome, right? So you yes, you it, you got a bargain. I am going to send it on the chat that it's a bargain. It's like. You say it's a bargain. Yes, correct. Um, in this moment, I drink a lemonade. <laughs> a very cold lemonade, for sure, uh, using your new refrigerator. Congratulations for that uh, bargain that you found. Well, my dear class, we are going to uh, call the attendance so we can do it on time and we can develop the topics without any further audio.
Let me see. I am going to call the attendance. We are just quite a few connected, but that is going to help the rest of my class to be on time. Okay, let's see. Let's start. Uh, Carolina Yamiret, she hasn't connected. Claudia Maria, Christian Natalie, present teacher. Uh, Diana Elizabeth, present teacher. Jorge Humberto, she hasn't come. Uh, Jose Carlos, present teacher. Jose Rodrigo, Juan de Dios, present teacher. Linda Yvette. Manuel Antonio. Present, Manuel. Hey, Manuel disappeared. Oh my God. <laughs> But he was here. Okay. Let's see. Eh, Miguel Ángel. He has been connected. Nelson. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Olga Marlene. Eh, Rocío Verónica. Rosa Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok. Let's see. Let's continue with Silvia Zuleima. Silvita hasn't come. And Tatiana Michelle. Present. Bill Maivet. Marlene Nicole. Eh, Omar Francisco and Danny Anthony. Danny Anthony is here, but we cannot listen to him. Hello, Danny. Well, I cannot even see your camera. But Danny is connected. Well, thank you very much for being on time, my dear class. And let me see someone else who entered Now it's Yvette, right? Yvette is here. And here I go. Okay, so let's move on business now. We are going to work a little bit on uh, sharing. We are going to, uh, yesterday we were working on the different vocabulary for finance in business, right? It was quite challenging for all of you. We are going to work on the presentation of the business plan. You, do you have it ready? We're going to use it today. And for sure, we are going to uh, discuss a bit, right? This is our little time to talk for the day. And I have here five questions, right? I have here five questions for the class. And the first one says, the first question that I have, what are you going to do after class? Write down the answer on your notebook. What are you going to do after class? What are you going to do after class? Do you go straight to bed? De un solo, solo yes. caen de la silla a la cama? Yes. That's what I do. No, but it, no. When I finish the, oh no, when I finish the class, I have to process the videos, I have to upload them, I have to describe them. I have to, I have to go with my, with my dog. You have to go out with your dog? Yes. After the class? Yes, teacher. My goodness. <laughs> Every day. Uh, you have to sleeping, like to, right? To, to go away. Oh my goodness. No, I was like, I know, hijo, no, mañana. <laughs> I <laughs> clean the kitchen. <laughs> It would be like, no, no. That would be... Sorry, call me camera. I think it is a problem with the, with the, would you use it on the computer or in the cell phone? Computer. Uh, I think maybe it can be like a video driver. Or what I would recommend is that you uninstall Zoom and that you install it again. Right now you can connect on your phone if you want. Yes, yes, I do it right now. Yeah, conéctese si quiere de su teléfono para que ocupe la cámara y el micrófono y deje quizás la computadora para que solo vea el contenido compartido, para que se lo vea en grande. ¿Se puede? Sí, oh, por okay. este caso porque tiene este problema y no la puedes instalar ahorita porque perdería mucho tiempo de clase. Okay. 
Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what are you going to do after class? That is the first one. The next one, as we are going to have vacations coming soon, it says, where are you going to go on your next vacation? Are you going to do something special or are you going to stay home? What are you going to do? The next one, what are you going to do this weekend? Because today is Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then chen, 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 vacation. The next one, how are you going to improve your life in the next three years? Right? This is a question for you to think about your the near future. And this one, maybe it was for uh, earlier in the class. Where are you going to eat dinner tonight? Or you can tell me, where did you eat dinner tonight? On the, on the dinner table, in the living room, in your yeah. bedroom, in front of the TV, with your family, in a restaurant. Where did you eat dinner tonight? I'm going to change this one because you already did it, right? So here we're going to have the next option. Where? did you eat where did you eat dinner tonight where did you eat dinner tonight okay i'm going to start with juan de dios juan de dios what are you going to do after class um i can't i'm going to get asleep i am going to sleep right because if you say like, I am going to get sleep, it's like voy a tener sueño. And in that case, it's like a very translated answer, right? I am going to sleep, right? Okay. Let me see. Nelson, what are you going to do after class? Uh, I'm going to the after class. Eat. What are you going to do? Eat. Eat. <laughs> yes. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe. Yeah, you never know, right? Maybe you're going to eat. That's okay. Tatiana, what are you going to do after class? Teacher, I go, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you're going to sleep, yeah, yes. for sure, because it has been a long day. Diana, yes. what are you going to do after class? Uh, I, I'm going to do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> to brush my teeth, wash my face, uh, write a little of my day, uh, read a book, and then going to sleep. Okay, what time do you fall asleep? At 11 o'clock. At 11, okay, good. Cristia, what are you going to do after class? Honestly, after class, I don't usually do anything. <laughs> uh, most of the time, I go to sleep. I go to sleep, but if my mother is wake, is wake up. It's awake. Is awake. Is awake. I used to talk with her. That's what I do. <laughs> even even with I mean I, I am busy the whole day, right? I, but I love to video call my mother. So when I am like working on the videos and all that, I talk to her and it's like I <laughs> SM and she's like oh. Ah, no, te estoy poniendo atención, te estoy poniendo atención. And it's like, no te ver más. That's what I do with my mom. So I like your, I like your style, Christy. Very good. Rosa Beatriz, what are you going to do after class? I'm going to clean the kitchen. Clean the After I'm going to brush my teeth and then sleep. Yeah, I think it gives you a kind of uh, peaceful state of mind when you clean the kitchen. And you know that the kitchen is clean so you can go to sleep, right? I don't yes. know if it happens to you, but I, I, I don't know if I leave like the dishes there or something. It's like, I get on a plot. When the I kitchen is clean, <laughs> everything is okay. Yes, definitely. Yes. Uh -huh. yes? Um, the, the American... I don't know if it is if it is general in general uh -huh. because I saw uh, when when my what do you say, Sobrina? 
My niece. Number. My niece. My niece. My niece uh, visit, visited our country. Uh huh. Um, his her her um, el esposo. Her husband. Her husband. Uh, all family cleaning the kitchen. The kitchen, yes. The they kitchen, all they all clean the wash, kitchen. Wash the, the the dishes and they put put everything in in place. In, in place and all clean in breakfast and uh, in the for lunch, lunch and dinner. For lunch. I saw this, it's very good. Yeah, that's a very good custom uh, for people in the United States and, and in, in general, right? Well, I do in that. Now. I do that every every day. Like when we finish, we clean and everything and we set up yes. the dishes and we put them in the containers and the, with the little cupboard that I have because it's okay. good. I don't know. I imagine that at night just an animal can oh, come okay. there and do the dishes. The kids, the kids make, make pupusas. Really, so, really, imagine what a cool, what a cool thing because they are teaching them to do good things. Nice, yeah. very nice. So tell me, uh, taking advantage of uh, your participation, what are you going to do after class, Mr. Manuel? Oh, okay. Um, I I'm going to two or three activities. Okay. First one, I uh, I go. Go away with my with, with my your dog. dog. Yes, and then I when I I talk, return when I return I help to my to my wife to to do some, um, some housework housework okay and then I I go to sleep. Very good. Let me see. I am going to ask uh, Mr. Jose Carlos, what are you going to do on your next vacation? Hey, teacher. Actually, I don't have any plan for next vacation because I don't like to go out on these holidays. I rather to go out when in another in another time. In a normal day. In a normal day, yes. Yes, I I, I think the same. I really like to go out when there's no one on the street, right? But yeah, right now, imagine, imagine the beach. Imagine the center of San Salvador. Imagine the fair. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Now, yeah. COVID all over. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Thank you very much. Claudia Maria, what are you going to do this weekend? I will go, I'm going to the, I'm going to go to the fair with my family. Hey, you're going to go to the fair with your family in Santa Ana. Yes, that's cool, yes. Yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yes, yes. You are, are you going to go to Feria Ganadera? I don't like Neither do I, no. When yeah. I was single, yes, <laughs> but I, I now. I think, I think we have like these stages in life, right? I remember when I was a teenager, I used to go a lot, but now it's like, I know. <laughs> it's, it's like, I, I don't really like it very much. Thank you very much. So I enjoy the fair. Nos trae unos dulces, oiga, a todos. Teacher, Le, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. Ahorita si me pueden ver. Yes, ya lo vemos. Nos está dando vueltas, así como el TikTok. Ahora. There you go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. We can okay. see you. Let me see. Now I am going to ask my dear. Let me see. Yvette Alvarado. Yvette, how are you going to improve yourself in the next three years? What? <laughs> how Sorry, are you? What? It's the question number four. How are you going to improve yourself in the next three years? Um, I don't know. Question four. In, in this, 
in the same place. <laughs> ah, come on. Don't you know? Don't you plan travel. to do anything different? Travel, travel good. With my family. Very good. To yeah. travel with your family, very good. Yeah, visit my brothers in the United States. Excellent, to visit your brothers, to visit your family, right? Very good. And last yeah. but not least, I am going to ask, thank you, Yvette, for your answer. I am going to ask, let me see. Well, Danny doesn't have a, an audio. I am going to ask Christy again. Tell me, how, uh, where did you eat dinner tonight? Uh, <laughs> I ate um, beans. <laughs> Uh -huh. Beans and, and egg. Beans and egg. And where a did typical, you eat it? A typical dinner for Salvador. Yes, I really like the typical dinner. <laughs> yes, me too. I yes. think it, I think it's a it's it's a very common thing for everybody, right? That we have yes. these typical dishes. Excellent. Yes. And where did you eat? Did you eat on the dinner table, on the living room? Did you eat uh, on where did you eat? Oh where? I ate in my dinner and uh, dinner dining room in the dining room very yeah. good i ate in the dining room excellent right i ate in the dining room fantastic well my dear students thank you for your talking time very good i have a little reading here and i am going to ask you this question first do you normally receive gifts from your workplace do you normally receive gifts from your workplace? In special days, yes. Yes. In special days, uh huh. Celebrations. Yes. And when Teachers' days. Hey, for Teachers' Day, you receive gifts. That's true. Okay. So, uh, in some in some countries, there are some specific rules about how to uh, and when to receive gifts. We are going to talk a little bit about this on the reading section of the day. And I'm going to ask uh, Rosa Beatriz to help me with the first one, the UK. Help me with the pronunciation of acquaintances. Ah, very good job. What do you do when you don't know? You say, teacher, how do you pronounce acquaintance? Acquaintances. 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 Go ahead. Okay. Business acquaintances don't exchange gifts at Christmas, but usually send each other Christmas cards. People usually give a small gift, such as a bottle of wine, flowers, or chocolate, if they are invited to someone's home. Okay, business acquaintances do not exchange gifts at Christmas, but usually send each other Christmas cards. People usually give a small gift, such as a bottle of wine, flowers, or chocolates, if they are invited to someone's home. So in this case, they say like, what is an acquaintance, people? What is the meaning of acquaintance? According to what you read. De acuerdo a lo que leímos, ¿qué sería el significado de acquaintance? Costumbres. Mm, not really. Business acquaintances. Business acquaintances. Do not exchange gifts at Christmas. Acquaintances are conocidos. Los conocidos, los compañeros, right? Business acquaintances, los compañeros del trabajo. In some cases, you get to have very good friends at work, right? You get to have very good friends, like they become a part of your family. But in many other cases, you have only acquaintances, like, si lo conozco, ahí trabaja, pero we are not very good friends. And they say that they do not exchange gifts at Christmas, but they usually send cards. If you are invited to someone's house, do you take something with you or do you just arrive like that? If you are invited to someone's house, do you usually take something for the person? No. Sometimes. I think uh -huh. it depends. Yes. <laughs> it, it depends on the celebration. The person. And the person, the person. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when you when you visit your family, do you take things for them? No. 
Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Or, or do you go with, with, the, with this typical uh, dispensa de un Juan bag to your mother's house? Oh. Mamá, no tendrá por ahí unos tomates. <laughs> no te this is in in Christmas. Uh -huh. No, but in general, they say that, uh, well, the example was for Christmas, but in general, I was asking you if when you visit people, you take something to their house. Because, Teacher, yes. Uh, one day I read. I read. I, I read, thank you, um, a paragraph or a sentence. I, I like, I like, and I put up in a practice. Into practice, huh? Yes. Uh, I remember when you visit any, any house, don't, don't don't get algo así no no llegues con las manos vacías ah uh, do not arrive empty hands empty hands empty hands right it, it is always uh, uh -huh. a little a little or i i practice yeah i i think it's a very good um thing when you are invited to someone's house take something right like uh i don't know a bottle of juice a bottle of yes. soda or whatever thing yes. for them to enjoy or a sweet bread that's the most common thing yes. in the united states yo creo que si le sirve su cámara solo que la tiene al revés mana tiene al la revés. cámara trasera activada porque estamos viendo un cumbito <laughs> La cámara trasera, ah, ah, no. Al teléfono, ah. al teléfono usted le da como para darle la, la otra cámara. Otro que le dos veces a su cámara de eso. Comercial, técnico. In okay. the USA, what happens in the USA, Diana? The Luis, microphone, Luis. sweetie. Luis, sí. Yes. An employee who is retiring getting married or having a child will usually receive gifts from their colleagues. In some multinational companies, there are strict policies in place about giving or receiving gifts at work. Excellent, right? An employee who is retiring, getting married or having a child. What happens here in our country when a person is having a child? You do a baby shower. You do a baby yeah. shower, right? And, and then another baby shower, and another baby shower, and another baby shower, and another one, and another one. It's good for the mother, right? Definitely. I really appreciate all the baby showers that I had when I had this little tornado that I have as a kid. So I, I, I really enjoyed it, right? So when they usually receive gifts on those special days, but... There are some multinational companies that are very strict about giving or receiving gifts. It's like, no, o proveedor no le puede traer regalos, porque eso es sorno. Dice. No, mire, no voy a dejar que le estén cuenteando aquí y le traigan regalos. Mm -mm -mm. So that's prohibited. Because yes. it can be, yeah. yes, <laughs> it can be misinterpreted, right? It's like, ah, oh, thank you very much, but no, thank you. What happens in Malaysia, Juan de Dios? Tell us. The microphone, sweetie, the microphone. In Malaysia? Mr. Juancito, ¿dio? Lo perdimos, lo perdimos. El audio, Juancito. Hello? Okay. Gifts are not given unless a relationship with the person has been has been established. Established. Established gifts that may be mis, misinterpreted. Misinterpreted as a bribe are unwelcome. Okay. Do you know what's the meaning of bribe? Soborno. Soborno, right? It's like <clears throat> um, you know, uh, Miss Nati, if you uh, receive this box for me, uh -huh, and, and maybe I can get all the answers of the evaluations. Maybe, right? When you open the gifts and tell me. 
maybe the numbers are going to be correct, right? No, that's a bribe. It's like when the police stops you and it's like, ah, you know, eh, maybe we can fix it. They said, no podemos arreglar. They said, like, mm, mm, mm. that's prohibited. That can be misinterpreted, right? That's very common in our country. But I know you are very good citizens and you don't do that. Yep. <laughs> It's like, no, 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 never. In Japan, what happens in Japan? Giving gifts is an important social act. An employee usually brings back inexpensive gifts for colleagues after a vacation. In business and daily lift, gifts are not open in the presence of the giver. If you receive a wrapped gift, set it aside until the giver leaves. Okay, it is... A uh, disrespect if you open a gift in front of the person. And in some cases, here in the country, it's like, open it, look at it. And maybe you don't want to do it, right? Do you like to open gifts as soon as you receive them? No? It depends. It depends. Depends on the giver, right? Depends on the giver and depends on the gift, right? Maybe it, you like it and you're going to do that, that face. And it will be like, hmm, nice. What a beautiful thing, right? Maybe you didn't like the gift, but you cannot do much, right? It's like, te gusto, que bon ponetelo. Thank you very much. So, they, it's, uh, yes? It's different to here because, uh, for example, in, after baby shower, uh-huh, that Diana mentioned, uh, we uh, all in, invite all the, us. All the, all the, yeah, all the, well, all the participants, all the- All the people the guests. Is, wait, is waiting at the end to see the presents. Number seven. Because they say that the number seven is the next baby. That's a belief that they have, right? Yes. And they, they, all of them wait to see the gifts, right? That's pretty awesome. And it is nice. I mean, I, I do like it when when people just like are very happy about uh, other people. Curiously. Stuff. You are very curious. We are very curious. Indeed, we are. We are really curious. We love to to check on people. It's like, ¿Y qué te salió? Enseña, quiero ver. ¿Qué te dieron? When the company gives gifts. That's a very common thing. When the company gives gifts like in to different people, it's like, so we are very curious. We love to to be um, over everything and to know all the details. So yesterday I sent you to a study and to practice three specific uh, words. Holding warehouse, distribution center, and cross docking center. Did you investigate the definitions? Sorry, no. Ah, you forgot it. Well, I did it for you. <laughs> I had it ready yesterday, but I, I didn't want to tell you to see if you investigated or not. But, I don't forget, teacher. Oh, did you, I, did you do it? And in the in the book, uh -huh. in the student manual. Yes. This Only one. in the in the student. I had it there. I have it ready for you. Ta -da. Okay. I have it there. A holding warehouse. The holding warehouse is a traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. That it's a holding warehouse. What about a distribution center? A distribution center serves larger regions and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidating orders because it just distributes, right? It just distributes. But what about a cross docking center? It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage, right? It's a cross docking center. It's just like giving and receiving shipping activities with little or no storage. That's the only difference that in the cross docking center, 
they receive activities and the shipping movements, but they almost never storage. A holding warehouse, it's a traditional warehouse. And the distribution center is when they get orders from larger regions. They store the items for shorter time and they use it for picking and consolidating orders. That is the distribution center. Right, so those are the three definitions that we were studying yesterday, right? The three definitions that we have pendant. And for sure, uh, here in the business plan, we are going to discover a little bit of each of them. Right now, I need you to talk, right? I love to talk a lot, but I need you to talk. In this case, I am going to check on the different people. And I am going to check your business plan. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Keep it so I get it out. Okay, so get your business plan ready, please. There, and we are going to be checking on the different parts of it, right? We are going to be checking on the different parts. Thank you for the ones who send it on the on the on the WhatsApp group. We were checking it there. So here we have it, the business plan and the different parts for it. Juan de Dios, do you have your business plan ready? Uh, more or less. More or less. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, my product uh, that I will provide is um, article for pet, a pet store. Oh, cool, a pet shop. Yes. Uh, the name is the Panias Pet. Okay, uh, the Panias Pets, go ahead. The location is in San Salvador, La Gran Villa, in the new building. Uh, good, good. Uh -huh. The member staff of employees are three. Uh, a cashier, a seller, and a veterinary. Nice. Uh, uh, my company is going to be better than other, uh, similar because uh, our customers are going to, we are going to offer to the customer a free veterinary visit if they buy products spending more than $50. <laughs> nice, hey, what a nice deal, very good. The advertising slogan is keep your pet stylish. Keep your pet styled, <laughs> stylish. stylish. Yes. And the logo? Uh, the logo uh, is a um, uh, two, the huellas. Two paws. Two paws. paws. P A W. Uh, paws. One for cat and the other for dog. Okay. Good, very good. So that's why Paw Patrol, now you understand, right? Paw. Yes, yes. Paws. Good, very good. Juan de Dios, clap for you. Very good. Juan de Dios, choose another person in the class to present. Juan va a escoger al siguiente. Vamos a ver. Eh, let me see. The participants. Um... Choose one. Claudia Maria. Claudia, okay. There you go. Claudia Maria Melendez. Go ahead. Teacher, I was busy. I'm not doing it. I'm already doing it. <laughs> ah, okay. She's finishing. Sorry. No, but yes. you can, now that you are doing it, you can keep an idea of it. Okay. Hagámoslo junto. Vamos a ver. Wait, I was thinking in a um, restaurant of sandwich. Okay, in a sandwich Like restaurant. a Subway. <laughs> and my name of my company. 
Um, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> El sandwichito. <laughs> El sandwichito. <laughs> Well, está bien ese sandwichito. El sandwichito. Uh -huh. Headquarters location en Santa Ana, downtown Santa Ana. Ok, Santa Ana Center, good. El staff en three cookers. Cookers. Uh -huh. sí. Three cookers or three and, chefs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The chef, um, one cajero, ¿cómo se dice? Cashier. Cashier. Um, and just that. Okay, and uh, how are you going to make it better than others that are similar? We're going to offer uh, good promotions. Okay, good Two offers. for one. Okay, two for one sandwich is cool. Yes. And what what do you think of having as a logo? It's a logo. Mm. Yes. I don't know. I, I'm thinking. Imagine, imagine La Torta Loca tenía una torta con ojos. Do, do, do you remember La Torta Loca from Santana? Yes, but I don't like it. No, I didn't I like it either. I don't know why everyone liked that. It, it was, was too uh, big, too big yes. for my taste. Okay, so think about your logo, right? And later on, you can share it. My slogan is beat the, the hunger. Beat the hunger. <laughs> Very nice. Beat the hunger. Excellent. Claudia Maria. Well, claps for Claudia Maria, people. Thank you very much. Yay. Very good. Who is next, Claudita? Choose another person from the class. Dianita. Okay, Dianita. Right? <laughs> Esos son amigos. Vea. Dianita, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, the products are... I, I bought the products I will be serving is dog's cakes. Okay, <laughs> dog case, maybe for Natalie, because my English, she was being attacked by a dog. <laughs> okay, dog <laughs> cakes, good. Uh, the name of the company will be Sweet Poppy, and the headquarters location in Las Cascadas Mall. Good. Uh, the staff, uh, the number of employees will be three. And the description, I will have a baker, a delivery guy, and one manager. Good. And I I think about this because there are not a lot of places that sell cakes for your pet. And there's a lot of people who has uh, pets. Who have and pets, yes. Want to celebrate their birthdays or like today is the day of the dog. <laughs> Oh, yes, and, yes, today it is exactly like that. And my slogan will be happiness on a bike. And my logo, I don't know if you can see it. Happiness, happiness on a bike. Hey, look at the logo. What a beautiful thing, right? Happiness on a bike. Very good. Thank you, Dianita. Very good. Excellent job. Right, you see, it's going to be cakes for dogs. Very good. Diana, who's next on presenting? You see, on the day of the dog, we have a visitor there with Christian Natalie. Yes, Christian. Yes, <laughs> he wants a, a cake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it reminds me of my, my little animal. There you go. Christian, tell us about your business. Okay, with my company, he's Winter. Oh. Okay, a product or, uh, of my business, is uh, I will provide a tourism assistance. Hey, nice. Yes, to the travelers. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> Voy a bajar el pequeño compañero. Eh? That's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, the product of service uh, that I will provide is um, provide also provide uh, a tours in uh, uh, around the El Salvador in the different uh, departments and wherever you want to visit um, Pueblo Vivos. I don't know how you say Pueblo Vivos. Uh, well, the, that would be like the, the towns or downtown. Let me see. Let me see. I need to find a specific word for that. Okay. Colorful towns, you say. Colorful towns. Colorful towns of El Salvador. 
Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't think there is an exact definition of, of pueblos vivos, right? That would be like the, country, the, the countryside. Okay, the countryside. Uh -huh. so, so I think it will be the countryside okay. or the, the living, the living villages, like the villages, the villages. Okay. So uh, the name of the business is Rockans Tours. Uh, the meaning of the Rockans is because uh, the last name of my grandparents. Oh, okay. And the headquarters location we are located in a local of Multiplaza. And the staff currently, we are five members in our team. Um, how their company would be better than other similar company? Because I think we have a lot of, um, a lot of tours, a different, a different kinds of tour in this country and a lot in, in the other country in Central America. Oh. Uh, in Guatemala, Belize, Panama, Nicaragua. Uh, and the advertising slogan is, I will tell you in Spanish, Pasión por la Aventura. Passion, wow. for passion, passion for Adventure. Passion for Adventure. And this is the, lo the, the logo. I don't know if you can see. There, there, there. So I, I knew, I knew that you were talking about a real company because you told me, and we are five members in the staff and we do this and this and we take and we offer. So yeah. it, is, it is a cool thing, you see. <clears throat> uh, if you want a tour, you contact to me. <laughs> I, that's what I was going to say. Si en esta ocasión es usted se quiere ir de viaje con su familia, visite Rocas Tour. <laughs> Eh, Rocas Tour no me paga nada por este comercial, <laughs> aún. <laughs> so that's really awesome. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Uh, I, I, well, there are many people who want to go to the zoo in Guatemala. And so it's a very common <laughs> tour. That's yes. pretty nice. Uh, send us the contact there in the WhatsApp group. <laughs> you yeah. never know. You never know. Clients are clients. Yeah, and then de repente todos en excursión. Yeah. La clase completa. ¿Quiénes son los que van en la excursión intermedio intermedio cuatro? Levanta la manita aquí. Ya, yeah. ¿qué va? Intermedio cuatro vaya en toda la excursión. In English, people. In English. Yeah. Okay, good. Cristia, who's next? Choose the next person to present the business plan. Um. Maybe Yvette Salvarado. Yvette, go ahead. Miss Yvette, we saw it there. Hello. Hi, Yvette. Uh, uh, today, and bueno, product of service you will provide architectural and design service. Uh -huh. And the name of the company, Yvette Alvarado Architects. Um, his staff seven, uh, a secretary, an accountant, an engineer, two designers, and two draftsmen. And um, how your company will develop that other similar companies? We make an avant-garde um, designs respecting the environment. Nice. Uh, advertise the slogan. Building a better future. And my and the logo. logo design. We have it. We yeah. got it. Yes. There you go. Yes. Okay. Yvette Architectures. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I was checking it on the WhatsApp when you sent it. It was pretty cool. Very nice. A clap for Yvette. Very nice. And for all the other ones who have yeah. presented so far. Miss Yvette, who's next to present the business plan? Uh, Norma. Okay. Norma. Norma, 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 Normita. No. No. No, no she's um, not here. She took vacation today. Uh, 
<laughs> we have Let we have see. Mr. Nelson. We have Jose Carlos. Omar Francisco wants to do it. He raised his hand. Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos. Okay, Jose Carlos. Omar Francisco, tell me. Wait, wait, Jose. Permítame, Jose, un ratito. Omar, yes? Okay. Good okay, después va Jose Carlos, después de Omar. Vamos. Okay. Um, today, today is Thursday, June 21st, uh, 2022. 2022, uh huh? Yes. Uh, Public server, you will provide a quantum service. Uh, May of the company is still an associate. Nice so, name. Think, think associate. Think uh, and associate. Uh -huh. No, it's cool. Yes, it's a cool name. Correct. Okay. Location is um, local in number A, in Colón Escalón. <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, Another yes. real service. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Staff is a uh, number of employees, uh, four people. Uh, staff job description is consulting, final, final process and analysis, our audit. Uh, how your company will better than other similar companies in this speak and write and English. Advertise learning quality consulting. Quality consulting, very good. And the logo? And the logo is the staff in the computer. <laughs> okay, a very yeah. creative logo, definitely. <laughs> good. Okay. So maybe you can send us a picture of your logo later on. Después vemos la foto del logo. Vamos con Jose Carlos. Thank you, Omar. Clubs for Omar. Very good, very good. Thank you. Okay, here we go. There you go. Today's date, July 21st, 22nd, 2022. Okay. Yes. Protocol service, um, health work and construction. Nice. Yeah. Name of your company, EDCSA of CV. <laughs> My God, <laughs> what, a, what a long name. Headquarters location, Sonsonate. Staff, architects, engineers, and construction worker. Good. Number of the staff employee, 30. Is staff job description, floor leveling for house. How your company will be better than other similars. I will offer promotion and I will offer service 24-7. Advertising logo, building your future. <laughs> building your future. Device. And my logo, I am finding for. I believe that. Esto me parece una réplica. Oh, sorry. No, no se ve. No, but but it, it looks, send it on the chat. We can check it on the chat. Yeah, mándenos una foto al chat. Nice, Jose Carlos. Very good job. Yeah. Very good Thank job you. on your business plan. Very awesome. Mr. Manuel, present your business plan. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, today uh, I'm going to present my business plan where the, the products or service we, we will provide cleaning service services. The name of our company is Mr. Sunshine. The headquarters is located in Edificio Avante, in San Salvador, local 10-01. The staff is 10 persons, um, consisting one manager, one supervisor, and 80 workers. Uh, the staff job in description is is your is your business looking for a reliable cleaning company 
to take care of your cleaning needs. We specialize in post-construction cleaning and uh, care of floors and deepest cleaning. And how your company will be better than other similar companies? Oh, okay. We will use in our process the three PLs of logistic and the seven R's and advertising is low. I don't have a ad advertising loan or oh, sorry is um, by brochure by social media. Okay, the advertising slogan, it's like the phrase that you have for your company. For example, if it is a cleaning company, you say like, all clean, all done, yes. for example. Ah, the name. Yes, uh -huh. always clean. Always, always clean. clean. Okay. Yes. And the logo, do you have the logo? I don't, no, I don't have. Okay, not, yeah, not I yet. Have, I have because I, I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you have it there. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Manuel, for sharing about your business plan. Very good. Let me see. We're going to go over with Tatiana. Do you have yours? Your microphone, sweetie. It's off. <laughs> your microphone, your microphone. No, it doesn't work. Ah, salvada por la campana. Salvada por el micrófono. And Mr. Nelson, do you have it? Hello, teacher. Hi. Sorry, uh, I don't know. No terminé, pero igual puedo contestar más. It's algunas. okay. Go ahead. Try. Okay. In pro, in pro of server, uh, you will play it as a groomer pet. Server groomer pet. Uh, a pet groomer. Pet groomer. Es como, como yes. para cortar el pelito a los perritos. Ok. Yeah. Yes. Ok. Uh, um, I use your company, uh, Gorbel. Ok. The headquarters Gorbel. location? Uh, our location. Uh, la ubicación. The Esta... location, ajá. Uh -huh. Juan Pablo Street. Okay. In the Juan, Juan Pablo, Pablo Street. Street. Uh, letter C. Number 20. Okay. It says the, uh, the number of employees. How many people are you going to have working in your company? Okay. It's uh, five employees. Five. Good. And yes. why do you think you are going to be better than other companies? Sorry? Why do you think your company is going to be better than other companies? ¿Por qué va a ser diferente su compañía a las de los demás? Ah, ok. It's a uh, uh, delivery service. No sé cómo se dice para ir a recoger las mascotas y luego este, volverlas a llevar, dar servicio de... So, that, that is pick and go. Pick and go. Pick, pick and go. Es like que, que, lo, que lo llevan, es el pick, pick de recoger, pick yes. and go. A pick and go, ok. And uh, think about your slogan. What is it going to be the, the slogan of your company? ¿Cuál va a ser la frase de su compañía? Ah, ok. The slogan. Think about the, it. The best for, for pets. The best for pets. Hey, the best for pets. Yeah. Excellent. And invent the logo and you can share it to us later on. Well, my dear Thank class, you. very good. Very good, Thank Nelson. You. Ah, you have it there. Hey, very good. Excellent. You have your logo already. Fantastic, Nelson. Very good job. And let me see. Thank you. Thank you very much for the ones who shared the business plan today. Jorge Humberto, do you have yours? Yes, teacher. 
uh, I, I, didn't, I, I can't work teacher, but I was thinking right now in, in a business plan. Okay, tell me. Uh, that, that is a sell ice cream. Uh -huh. The name is without opposition. <laughs> without opposition. It's a, a copy from the Santana ice cream. Ah, okay. <laughs> but this one is better. <laughs> Sin rival. <laughs> the location. Come on. I got it now. <laughs> Sin rival without a position. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, without a position. I said, yeah, Sin rival. But Sin rival is very good and very expensive. Definitely. Yeah, Claudia Maria might know. Quiero ver otras, <laughs> otra Santa Neca aquí. Claudia Maria, Santa Neca. ¿Quién más? I don't remember, teacher. ¿Quién más Santa Neca aquí? Diana. My family is from Santa Neca. Oh, your family. So you see, Diana conoce todos los sin rivales ahí. Okay, <laughs> so without, op okay. without opposition. Uh -huh. uh, we have two locals or two places. One Two headquarters. Two headquarters. Uh, one in La Gran Vía and the other one in... Bamboo City Center. Oh, okay. Be careful with the rain. <laughs> uh, the staff is three employees. Okay. By, by headquarter. Uh, the staff job description <clears throat> is a, a manager, the seller, and the cleaning person. Okay. Uh, the next one is how your company will be better than the other. Uh, is is by the promotion. Okay, the by promotion. the advertising, the promotions, and the offers. Yes. You can get one and take other for free. Hey, nice! You can take one and get another ice cream for free. Very good. Yes, the the slogan. I'm not sure, but uh, is better than the best. Better than the best, for sure, because you are doing the competition. Yeah, very good. Better yes. than the best. Uh huh. And the logo is a is a a big ice cream with big arms and one S in the in the chest. <laughs> yeah, because it's like like super ice cream. Yes, definitely. Okay, very good, Jorge Humberto. A clap for you. Excellent job without without opposition. That was very creative. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> well, my dear class, let's move a little bit on the business, right? We continue talking about the different problems that can affect the warehouse providers and for sure how to prevent and identify possible issues, right? Before everything, we are going to practice a little conversation that we have here between Mrs. White and Daniel, right? We have Mrs. White and Daniel, and they are going to talk a little bit about uh, the topic, and this is going to help us to make an introduction to the second thing that I am explaining, okay? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hoy en el día del perro, todos enseñaron a sus perritos, mira. Ya ve? Hey, right. Look at that. Oh my God. You have such beautiful. Hey, Nelson, do you actually work on that? Usted de veras trabaja en Nelson, Nelson? Yes. Look at that. What a beautiful animal. Pet grooming with Nelson. <laughs> yeah, we, we met Christian's dog <laughs> with <laughs> Nelson. Oh. Look at that. Es un maltés, pero le hicimos el corte de schnauzer para probar cómo queda. Pero sí es un maltés. Ah, qué cosa más hermosa. We met Manuel's dog. We met Nelson's dog. Christian's dog. We know Diana's dog for sure. And let's see. Tatiana, do you have pets? Yes, teacher. I have a, a pet. Uh, her, her name is Lulu. Lulu, oh, look at that, look at Diana. Ay, that's so beautiful. <laughs> look at Christian. Lulu, what is, a, what is Lulu? It's a cat or a dog? 
No, it's a dog. Just a let dog. me a moment. I go in. Okay, go and get it. Look at that. My God, Christia, how many it's dogs a, do you have? Ranger likes, likes to fight yeah. with the other dog. Ay, Ranger, my God. Ranger, <laughs> por eso se llama Ranger. Yvette, do you have pets? Yes, teacher. How I many? have a hamster. Uh -huh. a, a hamster oh my goodness <laughs> what a what a beautiful thing my oh look at that look at that yeah, I, dog. I, I hamster que, que chiflan no sé por qué really sí no sé, el de, no sé el de tatiana tatiana que tiene un hamster no eh, ivet ivet eh, yo, yo he visto hamster que, que chiflan <laughs> que <laughs> chiflan que chiflan <laughs> Pero ese era un hamster peruano, de Perú, se lo mandaron a la chica. Ah, entonces era un... Un cuy. Un cuy. Cuy, así se llama. Uh -huh. pero, pero es similar al hamster. No, pero ellos son bigger. Es bigger, sí. Ajá, de Arla y Little Cats. Yo, ella me dijo, es un hamster. Yo no sé. A hamster is small. They eat the cuy. Yeah, the cuy. Juan de Dios. Do you have pets? Is a ruso. Oh, yes, okay. teacher, I have uh, dogs. Que his name is Lucky. Lucky. He's a, he's a pit. Ah, my like, God. Eh, Christian. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. We have the couple of pit. Oh, my the, goodness. The, the, my, the color is brown. Oh, what a beautiful thing. So you see, today was the, the show and tell moment, right? Hey, but oh my God, Nelson, what a beautiful job, the one that you do. The Miren qué lindo, moment. qué lindo trabajo el que realiza ahí el, con el grooming de los animalitos. Muy lindo eso, eh. Aquí, bien, vamos a hacer una veterinaria entre todos. <laughs> <laughs> with cakes for dogs, with grooming, with uh, accessories, with everything for dogs. Hmm. Business people, business plans. I, yes. I can do the, the logistics and all that. <laughs> Don't it, worry. It, is the reason all people have a pet? Yes. Uh, that was the reason uh, I choose the strategy in my business. Yes, because nowadays many people have dogs and, and, and all of them love, well, many people have pets and they take good care of them. And that's pretty awesome. Well, now after this show and tell moment, después de este momento de muestra a, a tu mascota, <laughs> we are going to go with the conversation. And it says, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. It's like, ooh, this has happened three times already. It's like tercera vez que nos pasa. Yes. Oh, okay, I bet. Problem. I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of mm -hmm. uh, with the correct numbers. Hmm. Well, that's fantastic. The information uh, sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. New words, new vocabulary on the conversation? Mm. Ay, wait, 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 wait. Está vivo, está vivo. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. going to go back there. Uh, okay. Mm. okay. New words, new vocabulary. Mm. Yes, I have. Uh, which Rainbow. one? Our, ah, let me found. I lost. <laughs> you lost it. Okay. Yeah. I am going to cover this one first. Reimbursement. Reimbursement. That, that is the word. That... Reintegro, right? Re Reimbursement is like when you have to pay back a money that you receive. Or when you ask for a money that you pay, like uh, without a charge. And they say, like, no, no, ya pagué eso. Que me lo devuelvan. Right? A reimbursement. Investment, uh, investment is when you give the money on something. But if the money is an incorrect amount, you have to reimburse the money to you. Another oh, word. Man. Which one? Overpaid. Overpaid. Ah, very good. Overpaid. 
imagine that uh, the box was $20, but we had to pay $50 for the box because someone gave you the incorrect number. It's like, for example, Manuel le dijo, no, si 50 valen. Okay, and we paid $50, but the actual number or the real number was only 20 and you had to pay only $20. It's like, hey, we overpaid for three incomplete orders, right? Pagamos de más. Extra. Extra. De más. Right? Mm. Another one. I bet. Te podría apostar. I bet. I bet it happens. It's like, I bet is like, yo creo. Yo creo que pasó. I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. Maintenance is when they clean, organize, and reboot the system, right? And that's why, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. El, el costo incorrecto. As a result, like como resultado de eso, Right, as a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders, mm -hmm. right? As a result, it's like, aha, gracias a esto, we overpaid three incomplete orders, right? Something mm -hmm. curious that we have here, the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost, punto y coma. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. Cuando tenemos un linking word de resultado como este, as a result, tenemos que tener un punto y coma antes, de ahí lo ponemos, y obviamente hacemos la segunda parte de la oración. As you can see here. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. In other cases, you can put a period here, and you can add a capital letter, as a result, coma, we overpay for three incomplete orders. And there you have the two options of sentences. And here we are going to go over the following examples. We are going to go to the conversation in a moment, right? But here, 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 here. And it says here, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. What was the word that you had here? As a result. Mm, we have two connectors. That's why. And that's the why. Student. And that's, that's why. why. That's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. And the next one, mm -hmm. the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result. As a result. As a result, As a result. We overpaid for three incomplete orders. Right? Good. People, you are going to be Mrs. White, and I am man. I am Daniel. Go ahead. I, I am here, boss. What happened? Daniel. Daniel, I am going. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But the problem we see don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. <laughs> Um, you know, I bet uh, it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of it with the correct numbers. Well, well that's fantastic. The information, the information. finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we are paid for three Okay, determined, determined the yeah. wrong cost. The information sent yeah. to the finance department determined the wrong cost, right? As a result, we already paid for three incomplete orders. You know, I will send the documents to you, uh, to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, so no problem there. Mr. Juan de Dios. And Christian Natalie, develop the conversation. Go ahead. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase. Purchase. Purchase, purchase orders. Purchase. Hey, Mr. You are like the four lines. 
tiene como cuatro líneas por ahí. Here. Uh, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase order, purchase order, but the products receiver don't match the orders. This happened three times already. Oh, I bet it's happened during the day the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive, receive the right yeah. information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to finance department determines the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Mm. Thank you very much. You can look for the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good job. And let me see, just to practice for the second time, Rosa Beatriz and Mr. Manuel. Okay. Uh, you, you're, you are going to be Daniel and Rosa is Mrs. White. Okay. Rosita. Rosita Beatriz. Ajá. Ajá, lo, lo, la caché en la refri. Ajá. The break, the break time, you see at the break time. There's no break time here. Come on. You're, there's break time when you go home. Tatiana Michelle, please help Manuel. Thank you. Okay. Uh... The I will be Mr. White. Mrs. White. Mrs. White. Uh, Daniel, I'm going to over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic, fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. Oh, I will send the documents to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good job, very good job. And last but not least, Omar and Diana. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet I happening during the day. The system is maintenance um, that's with your department did not receive the right information in time. We have a copy of, with the connect number. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the financial department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department, the file, so you can contact the company and ask for a review, sir. It's like by five. I am going to send, I will send the documents to your department by five. It's like alrededor de las cinco. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement, right? Reimbursement. That is the correct pronunciation of this. So based on this, what I was uh, trying to, to get, right, the point, it's when you get the linking words, like that's why, as a result, these are words that you use to express result of something, right? For sure. And here we have other connectors, right? We have connectors for actions. They connect to a result with the action that cause. You can say as a result, as a consequence, 
consequently, and therefore, right? You have words like that, that are going to help you connect the situation with the result. For example, you can say, I didn't study for the test. As a result, I got a very bad score, right? I didn't exercise during the week. Consequently, I couldn't run in the marathon because I was very tired, right? I didn't study the guidelines for the project. Therefore, everything was a failure, right? Or you can say, you know, teacher, I labeled the incorrect products. And as a consequence, we sold the cars $100 less. It's like, bye-bye, right? <laughs> Imagine if you labeled the products incorrectly in a supermarket. That would be a whole problem, right? It happened to me one day that I was, I remember that my kid was a little baby and they were labeling the products in an incorrect form. It was there in a very famous uh, supermarket of a rabbit, right? Here in El Salvador. Tenía un conejo el supermercado. <laughs> in that moment. And I remember that the box of Pampers was $17. And it's normally like $40, right? But the box said $17. And the paper said 17. And I took a picture of the paper and the box. And I said, I take them to my house. So when I got to the to the I'm cashier, sorry, teacher, I have problems. Oh, Rosita, welcome. Don't worry. Uh, Tati saved you. She took the, the, the participation. Okay. So, so Tati was there like, ah, saving them. My computer make a, may, made a big noise and I don't know what happened. Oh my goodness. We need to be very I careful with know. that. It was like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. Yes, I don't know what happened in, in it put is a line blank. And I don't know. Yeah. Oh my it's goodness. Yes. Oh my God. You have to be very careful. Okay. And check it out. So the idea is that I went to the cashier and I said, here it is and here are the $17. And they told me, no, but this is like 40 something. It's like, mm -mm -mm. you labeled incorrectly everything. And it was a complete gondola of pampers of $17. And it was me and three or four more ladies with boxes. <laughs> and they had to sell it like that because it was the problem for the supermarket. And I said, like, bueno, yo tengo las fotos del, de la etiqueta y todo, así que me lo vende. And I was there very happy with my $17. <laughs> But because it was an offer, right? Estaba en la página, en Facebook, en no sé dónde. And it was incorrectly labeled. So we won. There is a, with your sample, there is a, a, a famous app to deliver uh -huh. they they show oh 20 50 percent when when you review the this app uh, nothing there is nothing there is nothing uh -huh. so nothing. but you can you can complain i mean eh, según el, el los derechos del consumidor si lo ve si lo ve publicado se lo tienen que dar so you say as a consequence they had to get me the product like that. Important things, right? Here we have two forms of using the, uh, these connections of ideas. And it says, when the transition is positioned between two clauses, the punctuation can be as follows, right? Because as here, we have it in two different sentences, right? And it joins two clauses. We can use it like that. The label information was run. Okay, ponemos punto y la palabra, el conector, as a consequence, comma, the packages were put in the correct bins. The products were not properly packaged, period. As a result, comma, they were damaged. The vendors missed the delivery date. Podemos ocuparla también, punto y coma. Consequently, comma, the retailer asked for a reimbursement, right? If you use a semicolon, you put the word and comma. 
right? We didn't know where there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. Semicolon, as a result, comma, some workers had to go to the hospital. There were no worker safety guidelines. Semicolon, therefore, mm. comma, we train the staff in safety procedures, right? What about these sentences that we have here? What about these ones? Here we have four examples. Can you give me the correct definitions of uh, this ones? In which cases uh, or where do we need to fix the punctuation? Donde tendríamos que arreglar la puntuación de estas cuatro oraciones? Here you have them. In the, in the, in the first one. And as, as a result. As a result. ¿Cómo la corregiríamos? Le podemos poner punto. Punto y la, y, la, y la A mayúscula. And the capital, right? As a result, and then? Coma. Coma, right? What about number two? After box. What is the connector? What is the connection word? Consequently. Consequently, right? Consequently. What are the two forms to fix it? Como, hay dos maneras de arreglarlo. Como. With semicolon, semicolon is punto y coma, right? I am going to write it. Semicolon. Semicolon. <laughs> semicolon. <laughs> semicolon. <laughs> Semicolon. 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 No, semi dollar. Ah, oh, please. Semicolon. Be, be my dollar. Be my dollar. Okay. In here, you can have a semicolon and comma after. Okay. <laughs> ya me hicieron reír. <laughs> semicolon. And here you have semicolon uses and examples, right? Oh, I didn't. I, did, I didn't write it to you here, semicolon, semicolon, right? The semicolon, it's like the punto y coma, right? And you use to Sem join two independent clauses, right? It's this one. Here, that's the semicolon. And here it says, consequently, the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, period, and capital. Podemos poner punto y mayúscula or semicolon, consequently, Coma. Okay, you can have the two options there. What is the connection word for number three? Therefore. 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 Okay, you can use it with period and capital and comma. What about the connection word for number four? As a consequence. As a consequence, right? As a consequence. Here you can have a period here. A period in broke, here you have. In the capital. As a consequence, comma, right? Here you can put uh, the semicolon, therefore, comma. And you can complete it like that. So in this one, remember that we have two options when you use the connectors between two different sentences or two different clauses to join the idea, right? Here we have the example, but I didn't, I didn't really like to stay only with these ones and to say like, sí, que solo se aprendan cuantas, as a consequence, as a result, yes. consequently, yes. and therefore, four or five. No, I don't really like that my students know only a few things about a topic. And that's why I took the time to go and investigate a little bit more. And I say, well, my students need to know a little bit more about linking words. It is very common in life that when you use linking words or connectors, you only use the same. And, 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 because, right? And also, that's the most common thing and everybody uses. So when you give examples, you say, for example, this and this. For example, this and this. To add information, and. And I have a cat, and a dog, and a hamster, and a rooster. So you always use the same things. To summarize, you say, okay, uh, to summarize this, to finish, right? 
and you don't give more examples or more details when you use the words. So I yeah. said, no, my students need to know more examples about this. So linking words that you use for result. Here are the ones that we were using on the example. Here we have as a result, as a consequence, therefore, thus, consequently, hence, for this reason, and due to. All these have the same use and the same purpose of all these ones that we were studying right here. They have the same use of all these ones that we have here, but I wanted to get some more words for you to learn. And these ones are for result, to express result. Can you go with me? As a result. As a result. As a, as result, a consequence. As a consequence. As a consequence. As a consequence. As a consequence of. As a consequence of. Therefore. Therefore. Thus. Thus. Consequently. Consequently. consequently hence. Hence, hence, for this reason, for this, for reason, this reason, reason, due to, due, due to. to, okay, so all these words can be used when you want to express the result of something, and if I say, I spent all my money on the first days of the month, hence, I didn't have anything else for the rest of the month, right, it's like, como resultado de esto, I didn't have it, right? <laughs> I didn't want to go to the supermarket this week. Hence, I didn't have anything in the refrigerator, right? That was the result of my previous action, right? The result of what I did before. But as in the world, we have many other things to learn. I found also some words for emphasis and for addition, right? When you want to emphasize something, there you go. When you want to emphasize something, when you want to make things clear about something. And for emphasis, what words do we have? Obviously. Undo Obviously. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Doubt. Doubt is a duda. Un. Undoubtedly. Indeed. Sin duda. Obviously. Particularly, in particular, especially, clearly, importantly, absolutely, definitely, without a doubt, never. It should be noted, right? Se debería de notar. It should be noted, right? Hey, teacher, did you finish working on the project? Indeed. It's like... Sí, sí lo hice. Obviously. Okay, absolutely. Do you have everything ready? Absolutely everything, right? To add information, what words can you use? ¿Qué palabras usamos para agregar información? Additionally. Additionally. Furthermore. Additional. Also. 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 To. to as well as, as, well as, as that. that Along with, along with, along with, along with besides, 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 in addition, in addition moreover, moreover, not only, but also, in addition to this, in addition to this, and apart, apart from, from this. this. Apart from this. So in this case, my dear students, you are not going to be using the same words, right? Yo no voy a tener estudiantes que van a estar usando solo las mismas palabras. I give you a lot of options for you to learn more vocabulary. The idea is that you put them into practice, right? It's not that you are going to be in the world, right? And to the idea, oh yes, moreover, like in addition, not only, but also students, yeah, but you are going to use them in specific cases, right? Cuando envíen un correo, por ejemplo, ya no le van a poner las mismas palabras para adicionar ideas. You can use it, right? Along with this, besides this problem, moreover, we're going through different issues at the company. Not only we need the money, but also the products, right? You can use different vocabulary. And here we have, yes, Manuel? Uh, 
in this case, uh, uh, and you and you give uh, an example with along with. Along with, okay. Imagine that you are talking about a, an email for your company. And I will say like, eh, well, we have had a lot of advancements with the production of the new materials, right? Along with this, we are working uh, on the new production for uh, September, right? It's like, además, that's the meaning of along with. Además. All of them are used to oh, add yeah. information. Todo eso lo voy a ocupar cuando quiera añadir información a lo que está hablando. Right? You can say, furthermore, también, right? Also. Yes. The most common that we use is also. Yo creo que ese lo ocupamos hasta 20 veces quizás en un correo. And yes. also, and also, and also, Thank and you. also. Thank and you, this one is for you to add different forms of expressions. Here we Thank have you. the other ones. To illustrate. To illustrate. What words can you use to illustrate? Can you help me to read them? For example. For example. For instance. For instance. For instance. For instance, you say for instance. For instance. For instance. Including, including namely, in this case, in this case, like to demonstrate, to demonstrate, to demonstrate, to clarify, to demonstrate, right? Demonstrate, to demonstrate, and to clarify. And you say such as, including, namely, in this case, proof of this, like. And to demonstrate and to clarify. Imagine, <laughs> just like if you are like, let's see, who has uh, teenager kids here? ¿Quién tiene hijos adolescentes aquí? Que ya están grandecitos. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, Nelson, Nelson and Manuel. Uh, Nelson, how old are your, your children? How old are your kids? ¿Cuántos años tienen? Nineteen. Eh, nineteen. Nineteen. ¿En Manuel? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, nineteen. I think the total de... Okay, seventeen. Imagine that you say, Aha. Uh -huh. What is the name of your, of your daughter? Michelle. Michelle. I saw you yesterday going out of Metro Centro at 3 p.m. <gasps> no, Papa, I didn't do it. Hmm. Proof of this, I have these pictures here who represent <laughs> it. And then you start showing the pictures of what you saw, right? Proof of in, this. In the GPS. In the GPS. <laughs> in the GPS, GPS. GPS. Right? In the GPS. And so, like, for instance, I have a video. And then you show the video of her going out of Metro Centro. Ah, there you go. So that is an example because you are illustrating, right? You are illustrating the situations. Uh -huh. Don't forget the attention. I'm sorry. The attendance. The attendance. I'm going to. <laughs> I am going to call it out right now. Right. Oh, right. To demonstrate that I was going to do it, let's do it right now. I am using the examples. Right. Good. Let's see. I am going to go over the attendance. Mañana le voy a poner penitencia. Todos los que no vinieron ahora van a bailar el pollo al no más entrar. Only 13 people. El pollo. <laughs> only 13 okay. people. Yes, only 13 people. You see? But it's but, um, chicken. Yeah, <laughs> the, the chicken. The chicken with one hand. The chicken. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Dianita. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Jorge Humberto. Present. Thank you. Okay, Jorge. Car Jose Carlos. Hey, en Jose Carlos, yo solo lo vi que estaba jugando con la niña y de ella no lo vi. <laughs> Se durmió. Y disappear. José Rodrigo. También. Eh, Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. 
Another one that I saw her for a moment. Manuel Antonio. Here, teacher. Okay, Miguel Ángel. Eh, Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Olga Marlene. Eh, Rocío Verónica. En otra fiesta anda la Rocío. Rosa Beatriz. Present teacher. Silvia Zuleima. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Eh, Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny Anthony. Sin, sin micrófono, pero solo ahí conectado, mi pobre Dani. Dani, Dani, te extrañamos. Ok, there you go. So, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, I missed someone. Who didn't I mention? ¿A quién no mencioné? No, I mentioned everybody. Okay, good. So, before we go, today the one-on-one -on -one was in charge of uh, Norma Carolina, but she didn't come. Then it was Olga Marlene, but Olga Marlene is not here. Oh my goodness. Rocío Verónica is not here. So, Rosa Beatriz, it's going to be the one-on-one -on -one for today. Mejor así salimos rápido de esa sesión one on one. So Rosita, I will appreciate you to stay today. So all the other ones who are not here. Okay. Well, let's finish with the topic that I am sharing here. The linking words, right? This is a very important thing because you can get, you can have more uh, vocabulary for you to express your ideas, right? And you say comparison, to compare. What words do you use to compare? Similarly, equally. Equal. Equally, likewise, likewise, just as, just as, just like, similar to, similar to, same as, by the same token, by the same token, in the same way. All of this, all of these are used for you to compare, right? All of these are going to use to be compared, right? All the workers in the company work a lot. Similarly, all the managers do it, right? We work equally. I was going to work late yesterday, like was all the secretaries of the company, just as all the people in the company. Same as all the people in the company, right? You have all the different forms there to complete and compare. What about the next category? To summarize. summarize. Para resumir. So you say, in conclusion, to summarize, all together. In short, to sum up. In summary, briefly, to conclude, right? All of these, for example, when you are writing a paragraph, an idea, an essay or something, and you want to write the finished paragraph, you can use all these words, right? Para, para escribir como la parte final, la conclusión de todo. So you say, in conclusion, to summarize, all together, in short, to sum up, in summary, briefly, to conclude. Go with me, in conclusion. In conclusion. To summarize. To summarize. All together. All together. In short. In short. short. Don't say in short, okay? Porque in short, in short. In short. To in sum short. up. To sum up. To sum up. In summary. In, in summary. In summary. Briefly. 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 To conclude. To, to conclude. conclude. And the next one, we have to give reason and to give condition. condition. For reason. What do you use for reason? Because, because of, because of, of with, this, with this, this in mind, mind in, in fact, in, fact, in, in, order, in order to, to and due to, due to, due to, for, due to right? No, you too. You too due is like to. the, the band. <laughs> the two. <laughs> in, for condition, you use if. If, if is if, the if. most common one, right? If. Yes. In that case. Yes. 
In that case. case. In case. In case. Unless. Okay. Unless. In case. Um, a menos unless. que. Yes. Okay, you are not going to go out unless you finish your homework. Right? Yeah. A menos que termines la tarea. You are not going to go to bed unless you finish your business plan. Ha! Huh? Yesterday, I was giving you conditions for being here. And the next one, the next category, concession and generalization. Right? When you give your position to the other person, right? You concess your part. And you, when you generalize, I say like, admittedly, admittedly, uh, all the same, up to a point, up to a point, up to a point even a point. so, even, even so, so, in spite of, in spite, in spite of, of, although, although, although even though, even though, though even if, even if, however, 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 okay, however, in this case, like, even though you should study every day, you don't do it. Aun cuando tienen que estudiar cada día, right? Many people don't do it. So you say, I was going to bring you something. However, I forgot it, right? Pero ya ves, se me olvida. You say, in spite of, in spite of how tired my students are, they are always in class. It's like, yes, in spite of the tiredness, they are always in class. Generalization. What do you use for generalization? As a rule, As for, a rule. for the most part, for the most part, in general, in general, generally, generally, generally on the whole, on the whole, overall, Overall, overall in most cases in, in, most, in cases. most cases okay what is something that happens in most cases in all companies in general uh -huh. many uh, people yeah. celebrate christmas in most of uh, in most cases in the companies many people celebrate it Right. Another example. What is something that happens in most of the cases in the companies? Think about it. Don't you have people who leave early in the office or who arrive very late? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that they say like, oh my God, it's 3 p.m. I need to go and you finish at 5 and it's like <laughs> come on you 3 know I, I have I have a worker I have a worker at the at the place where I work that she has this um, disappearing ability that she's there and all of this all of a sudden she's not there and it's like uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why but she has that ability so the day in, Madrake, in, in, mo the in most magician. of the cases, it happens at the companies. Yeah, today in the afternoon, I was like, hey, have you seen the lady of, she was not there anymore. Like, saludos, le dejo licenciada. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> she just left. She disappeared, right? So in general, it happens in all the companies, right? That's generalization. And these ones are important, right? Because these are the ones that we use the most to contrast and for sure to order. In many cases, when people give this order of opinions, they just say like, and, and then, and then, and then, and then, and that's not correct, people. We have many options to say at this time, following, subsequently, last but not least, oh. right? Uh, first, second, third, right? You can use it. And to contrast. Can you help me to read the ones that we use to contrast? Unlike. 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 Nevertheless. On the other hand. Nonetheless. Despite or in spite of. In contrast to. While. Whereas. Alternatively. Uh, conversely, conversely, even so, 
Different Even from. Differing from, right? Different. Differing from. So when you talk it's about easy. order, when you talk about order, it is important that you create these different words, not only the same words all the time. Ahora sí ya no tienen excusa para cuando escriban un correo, para cuando escriban una carta, ocupar solo las mismas palabras, right? We need to use a variety of words. Sorry for oh. Kiara, right? She's announcing the end of the class. <laughs> Last but not least, I need you to practice. I am going to send you the images of all these words for you to keep a track of the vocabulary use and you can have different options. Well, my dear students, it's time for you to go to bed. Have a beautiful night. Sorry for my announcement. Okay, mi anunciadora en el día del perro. Yeah. <laughs> I am very sorry. Have a beautiful night. I am going it's to the stay. Alarm. Yes, mm. it's the alarm. It's like, it's time, it's time. It's time to finish. <laughs> time to finish, mama. Time to finish. Okay, I'm going to stay a couple of minutes with Rosita. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye. See you. Hello. I have a have nice night. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Good bye, night. my dear class. Have a good night. Thank you. And I am going to stay here in a little moment with uh, Rosita. Hello, Rosy. How are you? Hello, teacher. I think we um, have we have frozen uh, two classmates here. Se nos han congelado dos aquí. Yes. Let me see. There we go. I wasn't uh, okay. prepared for this. Uh -huh. But I want to ask you. Yes. About, I don't know. Uh, I was studying about the tenses. Uh -huh. So I was looking, I, I got confused with some of them because the future tense, it was saying, I lost the page. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, the tenses. Uh, I have doubts with the tense. Oh, no, it was past, future, perfect. Uh, the future I perfect. Past, future tense. Uh huh. It was a page on the internet that I was reading the the tenses and uh -huh. it says that is there are six uh, 16 tenses uh -huh. so i was looking for past future tense and uh -huh. it says that you have to use subject to go be and verb uh -huh. but i didn't understand when i have to use it the past future tense Yes, the past future tense. Okay, so this is a very, yeah, that's a very uh, like curious uh, topic, right? Because here you have a, here you have the the like the different forms, like the past perfect and the future perfect, right? But the past future perfect tense, I have never heard about that one, right? Let me see the past future perfect. Maybe it wasn't wasn't it the past perfect or the future perfect uh, i'm going to send it uh uh -huh, because a picture and the whatsapp group past post. future perfect it uses yes. to express the idea in the past that an action or event was predicted planned or promised right uh, like when you say for example like um i knew i was going to do this someday in my life Ah. it's like you, that you are planning this activity 
but for sure it hasn't happened yet, but you are pretty sure that it will happen someday. I think I have a, I have some examples. Like for example, you should have started thinking about your future now. It's like, ya deberías de haber empezado a pensar. So it is a very complicated term that you say like, uh, you should have started thinking about your future now. This is in past and in present, and it's kind of an obligation as well. Another example is like, I would have got up early when everyone is still sleeping. It's like, in this case, it's like, me hubiera levantado temprano cuando todos aún dormían, right? So it's like past, past and future at the same time, but you cannot regret because it's done. The next one says, if he had got the money, we would have paid his bills last week. Si él hubiera agarrado el dinero o si él hubiera tenido el dinero aquella semana, lo hubiéramos hecho. And another one that, that I have is, this question would have been answered before we leave from the office this evening, right? This is a future past uh, prediction. Like, si nos hubiera dicho, hubiéramos podido contestarlo en aquel momento antes de que nos... Uh, hubiéramos ido. It's a very complicated uh, a structure. A structure, but it is curious because it is the first time that I stop and think about it. It's like the, the, the what I said, like the past future perfect, right? Thank you for making me get to know more new things. And it says a question, for example. Should you have waited that long until you took a decision? Debería de haberte esperado tanto hasta tomar una decisión. Imagine what a curious tense there. So, but it helps us. It helps us to, to get more ideas of things, right? What is a future perfect in past tense? Right, it's it's really relative because it it involves three things in the same time. Right, it involves three statements. John left from the front. By the time he should return, the field would have been burned to a stubble. Right? Imagínense esto. John left for the front. By the time he should return, the field would have been burned to a stable. So you have three different forms of the language there. So it is a very curious topic. I had never heard about it, but I am more than interested on investigating more, right? And if I get more examples, I am going to share them with you so you can compare with the information that you have. Okay, me motiva a buscarle muchos más ejemplos de este tema tan curioso. It is very nice. Yo de veras me, me encanta cuando me siento como retada a buscar cosas nuevas. That is a very cool thing, right? Yes, I, I, I am got confused with with when I was reading about it and when I look information for it, it appears only uh, the past perfect uh -huh. and no future. And no and what happened is <laughs> and I and I saw the the page when where I see the, the information was wrong. Uh huh. The, yeah, but the, the first page that you get is like, hmm, it's curious. I said, hmm, maybe, maybe it's not real, right? Because the page seems curious. But I am going to look for more information and for detailed descriptions on this topic. In general, Rosie, how have you felt in classes? Oh, well, I felt good. But sometimes I have jokes. Um, when is when we talk about the pronunciation, I don't know uh, how to learn to pronounce, and I don't know uh, when I'm going to put an stress mm -hmm. in a word. It is a little bit complicated for me, and you know there uh, there are a lot of words in English, so it is a challenge for yeah me, so. it, it is a good it is a good way i mean when whenever you feel challenged like this it is a good way for you to go and actually find a source of practice for pronunciation i was telling nelson yesterday 
that a very good source of practice is when you find videos on the internet about English and you imitate their English. For example, do you have any favorite series? Yes, I used to, uh, to watch them in English, but there are uh, K-drama series, so. Aha, uh -huh. no, but in this case, it's good. It's good if you like the, the dramas. In this case, I, um, a very good source of practice, right? When you get them in English, for example, is that you get a portion of the video and you try to repeat the English that they use. So try to look for things in English, right? And because in most of them, they are in Japanese or in Korean and they translate them. But if you find a video in English, try to get a portion of the video and let people speak, right? And then try to imitate exactly as what they say, okay? For example, nice series like, I don't know, just to give you one example, imagine that you get uh, friends and you get a portion of the video you cut the portion, right? You listen to a portion of the video and you try to imitate exactly as what they say. And of course, um, I'm going to send you one link there in the chat for you to shadow. In this uh, video that I'm going to send, the lady uh, gives the sentence, pauses for you to repeat. And then oh. it gives another sentence, pauses and you repeat. It's a very good way to practice eh, pronunciation with the shadowing of English. Siempre como hacer como estas imitaciones, paras el video, repites exacto como lo acaban de decir y de ahí lo vuelves a hacer. Y si no, lo vuelves a repetir, vuelves a parar y de ahí lo repites hasta que se salga. Exactly like the American accent. It's a very good technique that you can use. So I am going to share that with you, Rosita, for you to practice and for you to to get more information. And for sure, I am more than invited to look for more information for these very curious things that you gave me today. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, Rosy, for staying today in the one-on-one, -on -one. a very curious moment. Ya ves, a pesar de que no estábamos agendadas, fue una muy, muy buen momento de aprendizaje for both. <laughs> Have a beautiful yes, night. Thank, thank you, you Rosy. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good night.